Once upon a time there was a merchant. He was so rich, so rich that if he wanted, he could have all the streets covered with silver coins. But of course he did not do such a thing, because he knew very well where to use his money. If a penny came out of his pocket, he always earned two pennies in return. Yes, this man was a clever merchant, but he eventually died like everyone else. All his inheritance went to his son. The merchant's son started to spend the money lavishly. He went to masquerade balls every night, made kites out of paper money and flew them, used gold coins as stones, and had fun sliding them in the water. Of course, his fortune soon dried up. He had nothing left but a handful of coins. A pair of old slippers and a tattered cardigan. One by one, his friends drifted away from him because they didn't want to be seen with such a wretch. Only one kind-hearted friend sent him an old trunk and said, You can put all your stuff in it. But he had nothing to put in the trunk. So he got into the chest himself and sat in it. But it turned out that this chest was not one of the chests we know. As soon as he touched the lock, it started to fly. When the merchant's son pressed his finger on the lock, the chest jumped out of the chimney of the house, took to the air and started to move among the clouds. But it creaked dangerously as it flew. The boy was terrified that the chest would break apart and he would fall down. Fortunately, nothing like that happened. He flew and flew, traveled over mountains and hills, and finally reached the Turkish country. When he landed on the ground, he hid the chest under dry leaves in the forest and then went on his way to the city. He was at ease because all the Turks were walking around in cardigans and slippers like him. Then he came across a wet nurse with a small child in her arms. Look at me, miss he said, let me ask you something. I saw a palace at the entrance of the city. All the windows were very high. What is it? The daughter of our sultan lives there, said the woman. When Hanan sultan was born, a fortune teller predicted that she would suffer a lot because of a lover, so no one can see her when the sultan and the valid sultan are not with her. Thank you, said the merchant's son, returned to the forest, got back into the trunk, sat down, took off, landed on the roof of the palace and flew in through the window of the lady sultan. Hanan sultan was lying on a sofa and sleeping. She was so beautiful that the young man could not contain himself and kissed her. Hanan Sultan woke up with a jump, and when she saw the young man in front of her, she started to tremble with fear. But when, the boy showered compliments on the girl. He did not mention whether he was lost in her eyes that now resembled deep lakes, or the beauty of her forehead that resembled snowy mountains. He told and told. And of course he conquered Hanan Sultan's heart. The girl fell in love with the young man. Well, said Hanan Sultan, you come back on Saturday evening, that day my king father and the valid Sultan will come to me for tea. My marriage with the son of the Sultan of the Fairies will make them proud too. But you have to tell good stories during the conversation, because they both love to listen to stories. <laughs>